Hello, my good people. This is LaDonna of OfficiallyLaDonna.com. To start off the interview series, we're focusing on culture, lifestyle, and entertainment. And I have a wonderful guest with me, Naomi Achu. Hi. So, hey, girl. Hey, girl. So, um, you know, we want to make sure that we educate our viewers about you. So... How did you get it started in the entertainment industry? Um, how I got started in the entertainment industry? Um, well, um, pretty much I've always loved music. Okay. Um, I've always loved entertaining the crowd. Right. Um, I've always been passionate about singing. And I wrote my first song when I was eight, nine. It's called Smile. I can remember. Actually. Wow. I can remember wow. like the chorus. Um, and Whitney Houston has always been my, you know, idol. Oh, my gosh. Um, I watched her, uh, what song was that? Um, the Greatest Love of All. Okay, okay, I that's, a winner. that's a the winner, that's Yeah, I watched her sing The Greatest Love of All and I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna sing so bad. So she really um, has been an inspiration in my music, second by Michael Jackson, of course. Michael Jackson, like oh, everybody's yes. music. Oh my gosh, You know. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much me. Okay, so how would you describe your genre of music to someone that hasn't found out about Miss Achu? Well, um, it's it's Afro pop, um, okay. you know, Afro pop, um, a beat. I like to put a lot of my culture into music. Okay, cool. Um, a lot of the um, African culture, the West African culture, but at the same time, I like for my music to have a kind of like an international sound. Right, right. Um, so I don't want it to. I mean, sometimes it'll sound um, more traditional, but usually I try to I try to have it more of like a pop, a beat. Um, sound. Okay. I love a lot of drums and I love melodies. So that's how my music is. Kind of like African pop music. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. So mm -hmm. I, I okay. wondered, looking at your video, um, what's your inspiration behind becoming an entertainer? I'm really interested to find out. Well, let me tell you something about entertainment. With entertainment, there's no boundaries. Okay? okay, I could wear a red dress and you couldn't tell me nothing. Right. I could wear a pink dress, you couldn't tell me nothing. Right. But when you're um, in the world where, you know, we're doing a nine-to-five job, you got to right, wear your right. suit, everything in life is just very, very, very structured. And very boring. Yes, you know, <laughs> um, a lot of things have structure. Right. When you go to school, you have math, and we all know one plus one is two. Right. Three plus three is six. Right. But when it comes to music, there is no right or wrong. So I could write a song, and I could write a song right now called La T Do. Right. And <laughs> that I could give it that title, and that's the song, and nobody's gonna tell me nothing. That's my song, you know. And that's the good, and that's that's um the most um liberating part for me. Okay. Because um I grew up with a lot of structure. Okay. Okay. Um, so music to me is like an outlet. Yeah. It's, it's where I can be free and say, hey, you know what? This is me. Um, this is me being creative. Mm -hmm. This is me not, you know, not, not conforming. Not conforming. Yes. This is me with no boundaries. Yes. Yes. This is me being free, cause that's, you know, that's the, that's what art is. Yeah. Whether yeah. you're a singer, or you're a painter. You can paint anything. You can create anything from nothing. And that's the beauty of being an entertainer is nobody can tell you, oh, no, you didn't do it right. You know? Right, right. I can see where that's inspiring because being creative is pretty much how things come about. Yes. You know, you just, you know, like you said, the standard, the norms, mm -hmm. everything goes out the window. So mm -hmm. I definitely understand that. So I guess my next question would be, as a songwriter, mm -hmm. because you know I know you write your own songs, mm -hmm. what's your general process? How would you describe that? Well, um, usually a lot of songs just come to me. Okay. Um, I try not to um, force them. Right. Um, I'd, I'd write a song and then I'd take it to the producer and I'd say, hey, listen to the song, and then they would build the beat 
to the song. Okay. That's one way I can write a song. Okay. Another way I can write a song is if I hear a beat that's really jumping and mm-hmm, I really, mm-hmm. really like the beat, um, sometimes a song will come to me then and there and then I would write to that beat. Right. So um, there's different ways in which I, in which I write. I can either um, write the song and then get the beat made to it, like right, I did with right. my, my song Alaji. Okay. Um, or I can write to the beat, like as with this one. And let um, it inspire it's my life. you, right. And, um, yes, and let it inspire me. It was a blank beat, and I was like, okay, well, let me see what I can write to this beat. Yeah. You know, if I can make it equal, or if my song, if the song could be better than the beat, then hey. Which I, I want to, I'm just curious to know, basically, if you're saying that you have two different ways that you can write, mm-hmm. what's the way that you feel like you can actually just dash out a song right then and there is it with the music or if you actually have the words first and then match oh, no. it to if it? you have the words if a tune comes into your head and you write that's actually easier it's actually more authentic gotcha, actually, gotcha, than gotcha. writing to a beat because you see when you're writing a song authentic with no beats and no you know it's just more authentic i don't know how okay. to explain it I'm, I'm thinking like um it makes sense because it's pure emotion yes it's pure emotion and it's whatever it is that you are going through yes i'm guessing and then i know like a lot of us understand that music can change your mood oh yeah so i get that i can mm-hmm. completely get that yeah. that's pretty cool the question i have is basically you know i want to you know talk about your new single it's my life. Yes, let's talk I about that. I love that video. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you know my favorite part is when you're like on the ground and you're like moving and then your hair is all like oh Ariel. Really? Yeah, Thank I'm a you. Little Mermaid fan. I have Thank issues. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Sidetracked. Okay, so basically I want to talk about the single. You know, It's My Life mm-hmm. just dropped this past spring. Yes. And so touring, like when are you performing, where, what's going on? Well, um, really I'm trying to find myself in Africa this summer. Ooh. Yes. Um, where? I'm trying to find myself Africa's in, big. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to find myself in Nigeria. Nice. Yes. And, uh, God willing Cameroon. Okay, cool. You know, if I can go to more places, then great. You know, gotcha. you know how it gotcha. is the life of an artist. You might decide to go here and then you end up going here, 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 and there. Exactly. So exactly. the plan is I find, I, um, I hope to find myself, um, sometime in Nigeria this summer. So Niger, okay. Niger people look out for me. Okay. I'm Niger. coming. I'm right. coming. Um, and uh, Cameroon, by the grace of God. Um, okay. No dates. I'm not giving out any dates as okay, yet. Okay, cool. So stay tuned, um, people, right? Yeah, stay tuned. And I do have more singles coming up and more work coming up that I can't uh, really reveal right now. Okay, that's understandable. Um, which are still in the works and, you know, got some um, technicalities to work on and management. So, but gotcha. um, expect some um, really fun fun stuff yeah we like fun stuff yes. no boring stuff thank nope. you Mm-mm. so okay so i guess the the like lead in is basically um you know being that we you know our viewers are learning a little bit more about you i want you to i guess kind of get the seriousness you know in there because mm-hmm. we definitely you know um in the entertainment industry you have that fall back you have that growth or yeah. however it goes mm-hmm. so like, what impact do you want to make in, you know, whatever you're doing? Like, what do you want to make in the next five to ten years? Like, where do you see yourself? Well, um, of course, um, initially, I want to grow as an uh-huh. artist. Uh-huh. Uh, personally, um, that's every artist's um, um, goal is to grow. Right. Um, but I've noticed something about me is, um, you know, there's some people that when you start something, a lot of people also want to do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, you know, it's something that I don't know if it's something that I have. But when I start certain things, there's certain things that I start mm-hmm. and people decide, people look at me and they say, oh, well, I want to do that too, I want to do that too. Okay. So, you know, sometimes I take that as a sign from God right. that maybe I'm supposed to, you know, be somebody or be or do something mm-hmm. um, or be some type of trendsetter mm-hmm. um, because when I do something, people get inspired. That's good you know? though. Yeah, That's I, awesome. Something about me inspires people. I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but it's something that... definitely a good thing because... That means you're a role model or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's awesome. Yeah, so I think I think that maybe that's, you know, God has some type of plan for me to be some sort of trendsetter or role model. Okay. So uh, like you said, in the next five years or so, I plan to still be that person and to still grow. Um, if I'm an artist, 
um, I hope to be a role model um, to others in some way, form, or fashion. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, being African, being of African descent, um, I would like to see uh, my people grow. I would like to mm -hmm. see African music grow. Right. Um, um, especially, you know, being um, Cameroonian, of course, you know, I, I, my new family now is Nigeria, mm -hmm. but Nigeria is like a, a, a much bigger brother. Mm -hmm. They don't need as much support as, let's say, Cameroon when it comes to music as far as um, making it international. To finalize everything, I mean, we're having so much fun, yeah. but... Oh, and not to cut you off, uh -huh. but girl power, especially especially to female artists definitely in, in, definitely. in Africa. Girl power. Definitely, definitely. Hi everybody, it's your girl Naomi Achu. Uh, introducing my latest single, It's My Life. Uh, directed by uh, the one and only John Ukandu. Um, take it away.